Morning, Arthur. Oh, Driscoll boy. Just let me get this off, boy. Hello, Tilly. Mr. Matthews. Morning, Arthur. Did John mention this train job? He did. Sounds promising. Yeah. We're getting things set up now. Hi, Bill. Getting to where we need supplies for an army. How's it going? I just... Wanted to say, I'm sorry about your husband, your home. He was worth a hundred of you thieves and murderers. I have no doubt. Morning, dear. Oh, hey. I hear you've been getting into trouble again. Folks seem really happy now. Sure. Mr. Matthews, but uh, maybe they're right. I need to confess. That's a business I know nothing about, Reverend. Uh, that's between you and God. Sometimes I feel as if he cared. He would have killed me years ago. That's a feeling I can relate to.
Hello, Dutch. I love you, Dutch. Thank you, my dear. Hello. How you doing? Nice. Well done, Arthur. You found the Irish Terrier. Sadly. He's just a younger version of you. Please don't say that to me, Dutch. <laughs> oh, it's true. <sighs> it's true. Morning. Hello. Hi, Arthur. Don't Come here a minute. What is it? It'll be all right. <laughs> Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because he likes you and, well, you know his father's useless. <laughs> okay. Thank you. What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're right. <laughs> it's about time that you started to earn your cape. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole in. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. I'll mount up and lift you on when you're ready. You'll need to lift me onto the horse. This is going to be fun. Don't tag. So, where are we going? Just down to the river near here. We shouldn't go too far from camp. Oh, okay. You feeling better? I know you was a little sick. Oh, I'm fine. You're a brave kid. So, just like you. Well, I don't know about brave. I ain't much of a kid no more. Well, your mama might disagree. Her and a few other women, I guess. What do you mean? Uh, I'm just talking silly. <laughs> Been a tough few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Yes, but not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. Well, I'm sure someone can get you another storybook. All right, this looks as good as...
Where should we stand, Uncle Arthur? Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. Just by the water there? You mean? I can't wait to get started. First, we need some bait. I'm gonna use some cheese. Cheese? Smellier the better. Now, cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. Like that? That's it, good. All we do now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nibbling. If you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. You've got a bite, Uncle Arthur? Whoop, think I got one. Is it a big one? You see him fighting there, Jack? That's when you gotta be careful. You, you'll break the line. Best to wear him out first before you try to reel him in. Now, well, seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna try reeling him in nice and steady. This is a great fishing spot. Don't jinx it, kid. Look, Jack, it's a bluegill. It's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give them a chance to grow up a bit. Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. I'm gonna pick some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. Fish on the line. You got a stick at things, Jack. I know. This one's a rock bass. Not bad. Arthur. Yeah, I know. Born as hell. But then, something happens. And you can get food for days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then, you just... Sit, wait. Try not to worry. It's good for you. Good for you? I guess. Huh. Hey, look at this. The what? This necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. 
Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes, Arthur Morgan, Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case, orphaned street kid seduced by that maniac's silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton? Agent Ross, Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. There's $5,000 for your head alone. $5,000? For me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard... The guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn, and you have my word you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent. Uh... Milton. You see... I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not play the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow, but merciful. <laughs> You enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid, while you still can. <laughs> Who are they? No one to worry about, no one at all. Come on, let's pick up your things and get home. It's getting late, Jack. Your mother would be worried. Let's head back. Can we go now, please? Why did you lie about where Uncle Dutch is? Because, well, because those are disagreeable men. This is the wrong way! And I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Mac? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us to protect you from folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. Well, did you like fishing? It was... okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. It is. <laughs> yep. I made you this necklace. Ain't that pretty? Ain't I the luckiest? Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. 
a fella named um, Milton and uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And, and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. They know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing. Just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm. This one's particularly silly. I know you and Karen laugh at me for reading this stuff. Of course we do. But then we read them ourselves. Do you? Sometimes. What is it about this nonsense? I don't know. It makes you feel happy, even as it's making you feel sad and driving you mad for being so stupid. I know. Oh, and this one's particularly, and particularly idiotic. <laughs> about a Scottish lord and a princess who was raised as a peasant, but whose noble blood shines through. <laughs> Good grief. I know. Can I read it? Once you're done? Of course. Just tell Karen. Your secret's safe with me. You'll excuse me. Well. Whatever else is in store for us, Arthur, I'll tell you one thing. What's that? It's a rare old pleasure not to be freezing our balls off up in those mountains. <laughs> You're not wrong there. Be well. And you, Hosea.
Hello. Arthur. Fine, Mary Beth. You see that Mary Gillis? Sure. I saw her. Get over her, Arthur. Oh, it's all a long time ago. Oh. I hope so. He wiggled her ass, looked up and smiled, said, Bear down on your auger, for I know you struck all. Things went on and on for a week or ten days. My auger Time to go, boy. partner come take a look at this look at this my friend tobacco nature's gift to us all hmm. focuses the mind like nothing else whatever you say well I say why buy it off the shelves when you can make your own well plenty left here if you're interested I'd best Keep moving. Well, shit. Thanks, I guess. Come on, pal. Hey, mister. I just want to be left alone, all right? A sentiment I'm familiar with. Fair enough, kid. Come on, mister. This here's my patch. I'm using it. Holding hands okay, with that. Come on, kid.
here's a private financial matter, so why don't you keep right along? Not looking to interfere with any sensitive financial matters, I'll leave you to it. Hey, we said to scram. Leave that safe, and I won't shoot you. How's that for a deal? This here's ours. Well, let's see if this safe is worth the effort. from me, God damn it. Let's go, boy.
here. Hey, partner. Good God! Can I get a few cents? Hello, mister. Hey, brother! Can I get a buck, mister?
Howdy. Nice to see you. Be a lot easier for you once you're all square. Hope your journey is a good one. See if anything catches you your fancy. Got a train pulling into the station real soon. Uh, show me what you got there. Good stuff. Let me just look in here. Okay, then. I think you found something you liked, didn't you? Good choice. Trains due to arrive shortly. Prepare to board. Do you like what you see, my friend? Enjoy. Train is delayed, but only for You got your eye on a particular item, or, uh... That's your interest, hmm?
You fancy something in particular or, uh... Folks around here have been raving about that. Now I'm constantly restocking that one. I've been selling a lot of those. Now I'm constantly restocking that one. Ain't had city folk out here in a while. Good riddance, I say. Wallace Station might be peaceful, but you walk out them doors, don't get complacent. Tough country. I think you found something you liked, didn't you? I've been selling a lot of those. That's your interest, hmm? Should be Final good. chance to buy. I'm closing up shop. Need anything else? Back open tomorrow.
up on the back so quick. That's him! You can have him! Day on the move. So much blood. Oh, God. 
Got some medicine. Better than nothing. Damn it, that won't help! Look at me! I'm bleeding out here. <laughs> So, or is it an Easter egg? We're fine. We're fine. As long as it doesn't pick up, we're fine. Hello again. Hello. Oh, hello. How are you, sir? Ah, uh, Morgan, Mr. Morgan. I'm sorry, my, my nerves. I'm not quite the outdoor adventurer I thought. This is God's own country, and I feel I'm in purgatory. I know the feeling. No, oh, I hope not. What you trying to take some pictures of, huh? Some more greedy coyotes? No. Wolves. Wolves? Well, you really are trying to get yourself eaten. Oh, I hope not. I left the meat over there. I thought I'd be safe. Given the wind. Yeah, sure. If you manage to attract the world's least intelligent wolf. Well, I... I... I'll stay with you a while. If anything comes, I'll protect you as needed. You are a gentleman. Now, you don't know me very well. well. To me, you're a gentleman. Usually, I'm worse than the wolves. You had many dealings with wolves, Mr. Morgan? Sure. But you've never been eaten. Not through lack of trying on their part. A while back, I helped a friend from getting devoured. Usually, they are not great fans of man. I don't blame them. Me neither. Hey, shh. Here's one. Looks like we got company. Yes, yes, there they are. In the trees. Now, don't do anything. I'm going to take a few photographs. Come on. Come on. You don't need to aim at them. think it's staged. Yeah, sort of is. Look at them. Magnificent creatures. Especially when clawing at your eyeballs. Come on. Stay still, my beauties. Kept the wolves from the door. My whole futile existence flashed before my eyes. Yeah, they can be pretty aggressive. Oh, what a way to literally a dog's dinner. Still worse things happen at sea. Do they? Well, I imagine. Perhaps wolves do better at sea. Are they good swimmers? 
Well, who knows? You have saved my poor foolish skin once again. Don't mention it. Well, I can't begin to repay my debt of gratitude. But no, I am eternally in your debt. I do, Mr. Mason, I do. You take care now. And you too, sir. I was just checking this equipment if only my hands weren't shaking quite so much. First I was scared of the wolves, and now it's hydrophobia. I've got hydrophobia phobia. Perhaps a wildlife photographer needs steadier nerves. Or a longer tube for this shutter bulb. The only trophy I need is a photograph. And I hope it catches on. Some time working on the mechanism. Good day to you, sir, and Godspeed. me. Lightning doesn't strike in the same place, and neither do wolves. <laughs> You're a collector of pelts. I hope only in cases of self-defense. I'm glad I found you. Arthur, they got Bill. What? Who has? Bounty men. I found their cam nearby. They got Bill tied up. I'm gonna go take care of it. Come on. Oh, sloppy Bill. Yeah, well. You coming? All right, lead the way. So how'd you find him? He said he was going hunting. Never returned. I was able to track him pretty easily. Only a matter of time before they decide to pick up camp and head for town to collect the bounty. Guess we're in sights again. When are we not, Arthur? Fair point. What'll Dutch do? Ain't for me to say. Doubt Bill will like it, whatever it is. He's a problem. We all know it. Is that for me to say? There they are, on foot from here. Coming your way. 
We're shaking in our boots. <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. Ah. Uh, I'm bored listening to this son of a bitch. Hey, let's take him into town and collect on the bounty. Get us some money. Won't be long before you'll be tucked up in a night. Nice Xavier, I owe you for this. Well, I'm gonna head back to camp, find a bottle, and nurse these bruises. Yeah. I'm headed to camp as well. Thanks, Arthur. Coming, you don't stop still. This here is a hope.
Come on now, boy. Yeah. Feller's dead down there. Must have gone off the cliff. Yep. I think he's from that uh, cabin up the way there. Poor bastard. Well, uh, guess I'll tell the sheriff when I get to town. After a bounty? I can tell. If so, we got a poster on the wall just there. Hmm. Word is, you've made a home out of an old mine up in the Big Valley Mountains. But you might want to leave that one on the wall. Josh Brown would be a hard man to kill, let alone capture. And that's what we're asking for. I know it's a lot, but I really do have everything you need. Food throughout the shop, fishing bait next to the counter, and most importantly, liquor to the right of the counter. Now, let's have a look. Come in for that all the time. It might be just me and my old age, but I swear the more trees that get knocked down near this town, homelier it gets.
Sheesh. Customers sure love that. Why does the mayor's wife never leave the house? That's what I want to know. Popular even with the tourists here. Funny. If it were up to me, I would have planted my shop right where the jailhouse is. Everyone sees me, and I see everyone else. Sure. Anything else? Still recovering from that day. We've lost a lot of folks.
tell you. I'm not talking to you because you won't talk to me. You won't, and it's not fair. How come... How come you get to make the choice and not me? Just... Leave me alone, will you? This is... exhausting. He's watching. He's always watching. But he's never talking. They won't forgive you. Uh-uh. They, they, they didn't forgive me. There is no forgiveness. None, friend. None. But I, I know you want it. I can smell it on you. <laughs> Well, it isn't happening. No, 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 it isn't. <laughs> that's why, that, that, that's why uh, I'm out here well away from them. See, they come for me, but I'm watching. Yeah. I, I never sleep. I never do. I can't stay here much longer. I can't. Oh. Uh, 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 I ain't scared.
Well, what's eating you, partner? Eating me? Oh, I'm sorry. I'll dry up. What? See, I'm, uh... Hey, can I ask you a strange question? I mean, it sounds ridiculous, but I'm on the level. I don't have a clue what you just said. Well, I'm sorry, sport. Uh, there's these funny rock carvings. They look a bit like this. Okay. Yeah, well, the thing is, I sort of, like, really badly have to find all of them. Now, it's sort of a puzzle thing to me. Uh, I know, it sounds ridiculous, but I'm on the up and up, and it's really important. Little rock carvings. Yeah, exactly, little rock carvings. What do you want to do with them? Well, it's sort of very complicated, and you'll think I'm jazzed if I tell you. You're what? Drunk. Are you? No, huh, I wish. No, I'm, uh, lost. It's a long story. Can you find the carvings? I have no idea. Well, I sort of need them. Hey, listen, if you find them, I'll pay you handsomely. Send me details, if you can. Here's my card. And if I can't? Well, I'm sure you can, sport. I'm sure you can. Francis Sinclair. Arthur Morgan. Pleasure. But I don't understand. Why do you need these things? Well, I told you. If I told you, you'd think I was on the hooch. What? I'm gonna have a lie down. I don't feel very well. And neither would you with... Eh, but... Hey, what harm could it do? What a lunatic.
dead end. <laughs> you got nowhere to go, bounty hunter. I ain't here to kill you. Wouldn't matter if you were. There's only one way out of here, and that's through me. Come easy. I'll say something to the law. <laughs> it ain't gonna be easy. You're gonna have to draw on me to get me out. You might have found me, but you won't beat me, bounty hunter. Let's go for a ride. <laughs> Time to go, boy. You shot me. You didn't even have a decency to do it right. You duel a man and you ought to put him down. Not knock him out and tie him up. You got no decency, bounty hunter. in my younger days. I would have put one in the middle of your eyes before you even blinked. You ain't nothing special. And you ain't gonna stay sharp for very long. None of us do. me back there. A real man would have killed me. That's Big Josh, all right. Hey, he looks heavy. Can we take that bounty off of you? I can manage him fine. Yep.
than me. I don't deserve this. I deserve to go out with some damn honor. I live by the gun, let me die by it, damn it. That's what, what I deserve, you damn sneak. You damn gut shooter. on you too somewhere no one shoots like you do hasn't had some practice here we are strawberry i hear the cells here are really comfortable you trying to be winsome, bounty hunter? Always. I'm a regular charmer. Now come on. You're coming with me. Got Brown here. Ah, Mr. Brown. Come on now. Make him comfortable downstairs. Lock me up. Forget about me. Now, leave me to my peace. Pays right here. You make you work for it? He dueled me, so I'd say that's a yes. <laughs> Lucky you're still here. Lucky? That ain't what I call it. Honest, to be. Arthur, good to see you. Why? You want rescuing again, dear? Ha <laughs> no. I got a plan to make it up to you. A plan like the Blackwater Ferry job, or 
Like you going off scouting and ending up in jail? <laughs> Dutch said you was a, a big shadow cast by a tiny tree. I don't even know what that means. Mm, I thought you was a tough boy. <laughs> Not one of those gentlemen trying to protect his riding clothes. I just know whenever things get real, you turn yellow and lose your head. Yellow? Sure seems that way. So I guess you won't be riding with me to rob the banking coach comes about this time in the strawberry. I heard one of the O'Driscoll boys yapping about it while I was inside. You and me? Do a robbery? That's what I said, didn't I? After you. <laughs> Come on. I know an overlook where we can watch for them coming in. What are you... What are you doing anyway, camping out here like some crazy hermit? Can't exactly stay in town now, can I? And like I told you, I ain't going back to Dutch without a peace offering. So what's the deal with this coach? What do you mean? Comes through about this time every day, like I said, the end. I mean, how many men, guns, riders? Nothing serious. It'll be fine. I heard the bank's been hiring every trigger man they can get of late. The meaner, the better. You worry too much. Forgive me if I ain't wholly faithful in something an old Driscoll told you when you was half drunk in a jail cell. He kept yapping about it, saying how they've been hitting it on the regular. That's a good lead in my book. Damn old Driscolls are everywhere now. Bastards got a hold of most of Big Valley. Heard they took over some big ranch north of here. How the hell you and Lenny end up down here, anyway? Oh, you know how it is. A few loose ends. Drink here, drink there. What loose ends? Nothing that needs to concern you. I always pay my share. It concerns me when you put us in danger and we don't realize till it's too late. Like that move you pulled in Strawberry. Making me kill half the town, just for your precious guns. Precious they are. You need to roll a little looser, Morgan. Looser? I've seen you come full undone more than once now. And you've only been running with us a few months. Are we gonna rob this coach or bicker about it? What's done is done. Guess we're robbing it. Then let...
This is the spot. Hold up on this ridge. They should be here in a little bit. Hold tight. Which way will they be coming in? Should be from over there. We need to hit them fast before they get into town. Just don't lose your head this time. Of course, tough guy. <sighs> they should be here any minute. <clears throat> Look, there they are. Right on time. Get covered up. Come on! <laughs> Ride! Yeah. Get this out of here. No need to keep your face covered now. It's just you and me, sweetheart.
show them? Why is it every job I do with you ends in a pile of dead bodies? Since when did you have a problem killing old Driscoll's? Huh, huh. You've got a point. It clearly ain't going nowhere now. You know, we should really pick up a lock breaker one of these days. Save ourselves some bullets. Yeah, because saving bullets is such a concern of yours. Hey, give me a hand with this, will you? Let's take what we can and get the hell out of here. That lock should shoot off easy enough. I'll give you the honors on account of, well, this little mess. Come on, I'm happy to do it myself. You shooting it or not? Should do it. Come on, let's see if all this was worth All I see is you, me, a river full of dead O'Driscolls, and a lockbox. I'd say we're golden here, Morgan. Look at that. <laughs> What's the cut here? It is good. Just make sure the gang gets its peace. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, big shadow. Tiny tree. And like I said, <laughs> that still don't mean nothing. Get out of here. Go see Dutch. Make sure you ain't followed. I know, boss. I know. It's been fun.
some Chinaman. Tell me this map will have treasure. Satan, you scared me. Boiled Satan? Yeah, I get that a lot. So, what's that you got there? You ain't interested in no scrap paper. It's nothing. Just something for wiping and sniffing in the night. Yeah. Well, I got to go now. Hey, why the hurry, partner? I got a This is as nice as I'm yeah. gonna ask. Hand it over. Now. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Ain't no need. Oh, oh still. Uh. This is, uh, very kind of you. Come on, you got your map. You'll be rich from it. Enough for a, a whole night with your favorite style. Think about it. Now, let me go. Let me go. Hey, uh, you ain't gonna leave me like this.
I don't need no new friends on the road. Get lost. Me, partner. Woo! I was almost a meal there. Thank <laughs> you. 